Today we will see examples of drawing solids on a flat surface. Draw the isometric sketch of the cuboid shown below. If the measurements of the 3D shape shown on the paper are proportional, then such a picture is called an isometric figure. Now we will draw an isometric sketch according to the given measurements. We will take an isometric dot sheet to draw an isometric sketch. Step 1. First of all, we will draw a rectangle of 5 unit length and 4 unit width on the isometric dot sheet. Step 2. Draw Four line segments of three units length from the four corners of the rectangle in this way. With the dotted lines, we show the hidden edges. Step 3. Now we will join the end points of the line segments in this way so that we get the back part of the figure exactly the same as the rectangular face in the front. Step 4. In this way, we have drawn an isometric sketch for the given measurements. We can also draw isometric sketches in different ways. Let's draw the isometric sketch of this cuboid in different ways. Step 1. First, we will draw a rectangle of 4 units length and 3 units width on the isometric dot sheet. Step 2. Draw 4 line segments of 5 units in length from the 4 corners of the rectangle in this way. Step 3. Now we will join the end points of the line segments in this way so that we get the back part of the figure exactly the same as the rectangular face in the front. Step 4. In this way we have drawn an isometric sketch for the given measurements. Next example. Draw the isometric sketch of a cuboid obtained by placing three cubes of edge three units adjacent to each other as shown in the figure. The three cuboids of edges three units are placed adjacent to each other in such a way that one face of one cube is adjacent to the one face of the second cube as shown. To draw the cuboid, first we will draw a cube. Step 1. First, we will draw a square of measurement of 3 units on the isometric dot sheet. This square represents the front face of the cube. Step 2. We know that all the edges of the cube are equal. Therefore, we will now draw 4 line segments of length 3 units each from the 4 corners of the square. Step 3. Now, we will connect each corner with the correspond corner with an appropriate line segment. This square represents the face opposite to the front face of the cube. Now, we have created an isometric sketch of the cube. Step 4. Now, we will keep the right face of the first cube and the left face of the second cube in common and then we'll again draw a cube of three units. Step 5. Similarly, we will keep the right face of the second cube and the left face of the third cube in common and we'll again draw a cube of three units. In this way, we have created an isometric sketch of cuboid. Next example, draw the oblique sketch from the isometric sketch shown. We will use square paper to draw oblique pictures. Step 1. First of all, we will draw the front face of the square paper. We will do this as follows. Step 2. Now we will draw the opposite face to the front face. 
we will draw this face in such a way that its size is equal to the front face but it is slightly shifted as compared to the front face. Step 3. After this, we will connect the corresponding corners of the two faces. Step 4. Now we will show the hidden edges with a dotted line. Here we have drawn the oblique sketch from the isometric sketch shown. So today we saw examples of drawing solids on a flat surface. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to them. Related to